students welcome to your and our beautiful channel maths nation in this channel we will cover all the chapters of maths of class 8 9 and 10 in this class we will study the first chapter of class 8 maths rational number rational number This chapter is one of the most important chapter of class eight. Let us start now. At first definition, the number of the form a by b, where a and b both are integers, both are integers. And b is not equal to zero. Is called rational number. The number which can be represented in the form of a by b, where a and b both are integers, and b not equal to zero, is called rational number. Example: five upon nine is a rational number. Minus three upon fourteen is a rational number. Minus six upon eleven is also a rational number. Zero is also a rational number. Let us know what is positive rational number. Positive rational number. The positive rational number, the number in which both numerator and denominator are of same sign. If numerator is positive, then the denominator must be positive. If the numerator is negative, then the denominator must be negative. These are called positive rational number. Example: minus five upon minus eleven is a positive rational number. Three upon seven is also a positive rational number. Then, then no, what is? Negative rational number. What is negative rational number? The rational number in which negative rational number. The rational number in which numerator and denominator are of opposite sign. Means, if the numerator is positive. Then the denominator is negative. It is a negative rational number. In other way, denominator is ne numerator is negative. Denominator is positive. Is also negative rational number. Now let us know what is what are the properties of rational number. Property one. Property one. If a by b is a rational number and m is any m is any non zero integers what m is any non zero integer integer then a by b is equal to a into m upon b into m these called equivalent rational number what equivalent rational number let us take m equal to 2 minus 3 Five minus seven, any. Then suppose two by seven is a rational number. Two by seven is equal to two into two upon seven into two is equal to two into minus three upon seven into minus three is equal to two upon two into five upon seven into five, which equal to two into minus seven. Upon seven into minus seven. These all are equivalent rational numbers. Understand? These all are equivalent rational numbers. Property two. What if a by b is a rational number and m is any non-zero non-zero integer? Then A by B is equal to A divided M upon B divided M. 
this is also called equivalent rational number. Example, example th minus 32 upon 40, then divide by 8, divide by 8, then what we get minus 4 upon 5, this is also equivalent rational number. Now, let us come what is standard form of rational number, what is standard form of rational number. Note down students, what is standard form of rational number? A rational number in the form of A, Y, B, where A and B both are in lowest form both are in lowest form means A and B do not have any common divisor except one and denominator is always positive. This is most important part denominator is always positive. Example, suppose 33 upon minus 44, convert it into standard form. 33, 44 are not in the lowest form because term because they have common divisor 11 divide them then what we get we get 3 upon minus 4 is this the standard form of rational number no because here the denominator is negative then convert it into positive denominator then how can we convert? Multiply 3 into minus 1, minus 4 into minus 1. Then what we get? Minus 3 upon 4. This is the standard form of rational number. The standard form of rational number is very important because, because when we do addition, subtraction, comparison, divisions, multiplications, then at first convert the rational number into its standard form. Then property 3, what property 3? It is the cross multiplication means if A by B and C by D are two rational numbers, are two equivalent rational numbers, equivalent rational number this means what a by b is equal to c by d then by the method of cross multiplications a d equal to b c then can we say if two two rational numbers are there and you have to find out are they equivalent or not then apply the cross multiplications. If you get AD equal to BC, then you say they are equivalent rational number. Otherwise, they are not. Example, suppose 1 upon 2 and 4 upon 8. Are they equivalent rational number? Let us do cross multiplications. What you get? 8, 8. They are equal. Yes, 1 upon 2 is an equivalent 1 upon 2, 4 upon 8 are two equivalent rational number. Another example, suppose minus 3 upon 5, minus 4 upon 10. Are they equivalent? Do the cross multiplications. What you get? Minus 30, minus 20. Are they equal? No. Means minus 3 upon 5 is not equivalent with minus 4 upon 10. Understand? Yes. Now, comparing rational number. How can you, you compare the rational number? One thing remember, every positive rational number, positive rational number, positive rational number, always greater than 0, while negative rational number, negative rational number 
is less than 0. Then comparing rational numbers, comparing rational number. If only two rational numbers are given, then you simply use cross multiplication method, you can easily get which is greater. Look at here. Suppose a y b c by d are two rational number, then use the method of cross multiplications a d b c. If a d is greater than b c, this means a y b is greater than c by d. Remember one thing, while you comparing rational number, always convert it into standard form, otherwise you get a wrong answer. Look at here comparing. Suppose minus 5 by 9, 4 upon minus 11. Compare this, which is greater? Then how can you compare? By cross multiplication method. And the important thing I have told you, at first convert it into standard form. 5 upon 9 is in standard form, okay. But 4 upon minus 11 is not in standard form. How can you convert it standard form? Minus 4 upon 11 by multiplying minus 1 in numerator and denominator. Then compare minus 5 upon 9 minus 4 upon 11. Use cross multiplications. What you get? Minus 55 minus 36. Which is greater? Minus 36 means minus 5 upon 9 is less than. 4 upon minus 11. Suppose you have not converted into standard form and you try to compare. Just look at here how can you get a wrong result. Look at here. You do not convert it standard form. Minus 5 upon 9. Compare it with 4 upon minus 11. Just use cross multiplications. What you get? Minus 11 into 5. What you get? 55. 9 into 4. 36. Which is greater? 36 is greater than what you, no, sorry, which is greater? 55 is greater than what you get? Minus 5 upon 9 is greater than 4 upon minus 11. This is wrong. Understand? This is wrong. Okay, today this much. In next class, we will proceed to comparing by making the common denominator okay today like share and subscribe and tuned for the upcoming videos and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming videos thank you students